And right now, as we come on the air, some folks who live in Sarah Land and along the Tensaw River are experiencing historic flooding. We have team coverage tonight from Mobile to northern Baldwin counties. Let's first hand it over to NBC 15's Corey Pippen. He found out crews have made several rescues near the Tensaw River as water remains just inches from homes. North Baldwin Sheriff's search and rescue volunteers say they assisted Marine Patrol in evacuating one home due to the conditions, but they're keeping a close eye on others who have stayed should they need any help. Tonight, high water still pose a danger around hundreds of North Baldwin County homes. Residents living along the Tensaw River continue to deal with the surge, which has put houses and those braving the rapidly moving water at risk. This water is very dangerous. It's swift water, which we're not used to in this area. It, it will turn your boat. If you get your boat sideways and were to get jammed on something, it'll suck your boat down. James Phillips is one of more than a dozen volunteers with the North Baldwin Sheriff's Search and Rescue Organization. He says while many folks have evacuated, others chose to ride it out, including one family who lost power yesterday and needed to be rescued due to a health emergency. We actually pulled our boat up beside the steps and then they came out. They had two dogs with them and we loaded the dogs and their bags and uh, got them on our boat. And this was on the higher part of the island. Flooding from northern Alabama has caused high waters in the area before. But folks tell NBC 15 this is the highest they've ever seen it. Phillips is encouraging people to stay away from the water unless absolutely necessary. All the odds are against you. If you need to be out there, wear a life jacket. Be very careful of everything you do. If something happens, you know, we'll be prepared to go, but we really don't want to be on the water. EMA officials are expecting the floodwaters to crest soon and recede slowly, but I'm told that could still take several more days. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.